got a couple of updates regarding the new AMD CPUs, the Ryzen 9000 series, the 9950X is going to be 500 bucks, the 9900X is going to be 400 bucks, the 9700X is going to be 200 bucks, and then the 9600X is going to be 230 bucks. Now, I'm actually super excited for the AMDs, or for the AMDs, for AMDs 9000 series CPU. I, you know what? This is probably going to be the first time that I actually swap over to a, the only way I can think to explain it is a daily driver as an AMD platform, because I've really always, you know, I've always used Intel due to the benefits that you get as a creator in the productivity space. Now, for those of you that may be on an AMD platform and in the exact opposite situation to me where you've just pretty much always used intel there's so like obs has a couple of features like the real-time audio like dude i literally got a fan like pointed right at that camera so that it doesn't overheat i literally have an air conditioner going on back there so that it doesn't overheat when i have my girlfriend over here playing video games on the tv as i talk into my microphone there's no noise coming in back there. That is a benefit that Intel has, which AMD does not have. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below now there's also a couple of other features in um like adobe premiere quick sync isn't really that big of a deal anymore because video editors at this point rely so heavily on the graphics card that that doesn't really whatever benefit me anymore but Anyways, I'm getting a little bit off topic there. It's just I've always used Intel and um, I really want to swap to AMD as a daily driver because one, it's going to be the new platform. And uh, actually, so if any of you are interested in this computer over here, it's it's a i9 14900K. It's an RTX 4090. It has 64 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 7200 megahertz an MSI Z790 Edge TI motherboard. It has a 1500 watt be quiet power supply in it. It's got, it's just got six up here fans in it. Um, it's, a, they're actually really cheap. I use them in like all my computers. Um, just because they look good and then they come with that RGB hub already, but they're literally only 40 bucks for all six fans. However, I do have, I did get two six packs of them so that I could put an extra one on the back of it. It has a 360 millimeter uh, EK Nucleus AIO, and then it's got four terabytes worth of storage, but I would end up taking one of the two terabyte NVMEs out um, just so that I could swap everything from this computer over to the new one more easily. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't even know like what to charge for. I'm pretty sure I paid like 4,300 bucks. So if you want to make an offer, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comments. Uh, my Facebook page is down in the description as well. Um, if you do want to buy this, definitely message me on my private Facebook page. Um, you can obviously message me on my business page as well. Uh, it's just, it's so hard to keep track there. Um, because most people that are whatever contacting me on my business page or actually looking for a brand new computer build uh but anyways i got a little bit off topic there so like i've so my first computer that i built was a 9900k and an rtx 2080 and then the second computer that i built was uh a 12700k which i then upgraded to a 12900k because i didn't like the i7 and then i got the 13900k and then I got the 14900K. <laughs> and like, so like I've built tons of AMD computers. Like I've built like a ton of them and I've benchmarked a ton of them. And I've like, I've used them for like a day or two, but I've never like fully, I've never like, like full sent it. If the, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, and the reason that I want to do this is because it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me why Gamers Nexus is praising AMD. Hardware Unboxed is praising AMD. 
Paul's Hardware is praising, like all these people are like these very like, very, uh, really brain fart, you, you stupid brain. I, I can't think of the word The I want to say reliable, but that's not what the word I'm looking for. The, what is it? Whatever. It's a, it's the, it's the word where when somebody is <laughs> giving good information on a pretty consistent basis. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of the word. I have a total brain fart right now, <laughs> but, um, but anyways, everybody is like, just like, they're all praising it. And then you see some people like, obviously th these are not like people that are actually using them, but you see like these, some like these, uh, I want to call, like, I don't want to say a documentary channel, man, I'm having a bunch of brain farts right now, but these documentary cha type channels where they actually go over like the actual stats of these things where you look at the market and 80% is Intel and you look at the GPU market and 90% is Nvidia, but then you go to the YouTube comments and it's like a bajillion people have AMD everything. And then if I make the slightest negative statement and i mean slightest negative statement on amd oh boy i'm in for a war and oh boy am i about to sit on my computer and have to delete a million comments from people attacking like i don't if you leave an opinion i don't care like if you want to tell me how you like amd more than intel i genuinely do not care that's perfectly fine it, it, like i'm just here to hang out and talk with you guys i really don't care about what if your opinion is different than mine like competition just benefits everybody but like when people leave like some derogatory like negative statements attacking people and just like starting wars those are the comments that i end up deleting but it just and it's there's proof with the likes and dislikes which there's a couple of so i don't know what application or extension people are talking about with the like with the dislike ratios but those whoever is like whatever extension that is it is totally off now i do get some like seriously like the amd like so the the two amd videos that i the the title was it was clickbait so i, I kind of deserved the dislike ratio <laughs> but anyways so the title like uh so the amd 9950x like amd is finally better that's literally all I said. That's all I said. AMD is finally better. That's literally it. Is I don't even see that as the negative statement because it's like the way I see it right now is when I say AMD is finally better, that means all of these are better. That means every single one of these CPUs are better as in finally better. Whereas like right now, dude, it's like the 7800X 3D is the only CPU that is better. At least if we don't go into the whole intel instability fiasco that's going on right now which that i don't understand i really don't understand that at all and i don't understand that dude because i offer lifetime warranties with my computers that i build for people i have built hundreds of computers with 12th 13th and 14th generation cpus i've also built a ton of amd computer builds and look I'm not, uh, this isn't negative about AMD and this is an issue that a lot of people have with the AMD platform where the DDR5 memory, you can't, th there's like, there's an instability with the memory. Yes, I'm fully aware that they fixed that now, but that doesn't negate the fact that there was problems when, when, whatever. I'm not attacking AMD. I'm just, I have to say this because it's like a whole video positive on AMD. And I say this like little teeny tiny weeny negative thing. And it like, it completely like twists what everybody thinks. I'm not attacking AMD. I'm just saying that's the only platform that I've ever run into an issue with. And then the MS, I actually have a video that's doing extremely well and it's helping a ton of people, which just goes to show how many people are actually using Intel over AMD right now. Uh, there is an MSI Z790 motherboard where one of the PCIe slots, there's like some like outdated like driver with it. And like when you put your GPU in it, dude, it took me like six hours of troubleshooting just to realize that the PCIe slot wasn't working right. And I needed to update the BIOS. 
oh my god but anyways i made a video on that and it's, it's helping a ton of people but that's the only issue that i've run into with intel i've been using this computer right it's all over well i don't want to say overclocked but in the msi bios you know you, you're you like your ai overclock there where you put your cpu to the max and then you got your ddr5 xmp that's all i do with the overclocking now it's pretty much it's kind of pointless to like manually overclock at this point and i haven't run into any problems with this computer um i have had a couple of blue screens of death when i when i went over with my with my memory but when i put it back down to the 7200 megahertz and i didn't try to overclock it to 74 with the msi try it feature <laughs> that they have so like so for those of you that are unaware how i got this video or how i got this pc stable with all four of these sticks running at 7200 because i think it looks better with four sticks so that's why i do it how i was able to do that is msi has a feature in their bios it's called msi try it it's not like the xmp where you just click it and it clicks but they have this like where you go into the overclocking section it's it's still automatic it still does everything you just literally click it but there's an msi try it where it gives you the exact like so if you get like cl 30 35 35 35 or something i don't whatever i don't understand how i i understand how cl 30 is quicker than cl 40 but i don't really understand the three other numbers but anyways so that's how i i just clicked the 7200 megahertz and i haven't had a blue screen of death ever since doing i didn't even have a blue screen of death after the whatever the update from the other where where all these like businesses computers were crashing i didn't have my computer crash at all though i did notice a nvidia driver problem with the last i don't remember what version it was. i updated it the other day on the 15th i'm pretty sure is when i updated it um but there was this problem where i would turn my computer on and you know how like the screen goes black where you alt tab out of a video game it was like doing that when i booted up into my computer like i would boot my computer and all three of my monitors would go black for like five seconds and then they would turn back on but ever since i updated my driver it hasn't that's the only issue that i've ever had with this computer so like and the reason i'm explaining all that is because i don't understand it seems like this is that whole and look, I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong. There clearly is something wrong. So I'm not saying that there's whatever that AM or that Intel isn't having problems with their CPUs because there absolutely is a problem with it. But it feels like and it seems like this is the exact same situation that happened with the 40 series connectors melting on people where the internet just come just blew it out of proportion. So like we have one graphics card out of every 100,000 graphics cards that were made melting on people, but because three or four people post about it online and then millions of people see that, it's blown out of proportion. Even though it was like three people and there's like a million GPUs on the market, but only three of them had this happen. You know what I mean? Like that's, the, my cookies are burning right now. I'm gonna go take them. So if you're new to my channel, uh, there's something that I do pretty much every single time I'm making a video and I have to cook two cookies at a time because unfortunately, if I cook more than two, I'm going to eat the whole batch. And I know that you're the exact same way as me. If you, my friends, are making half a dozen cookies, those half a dozen cookies will be non-existent by the end of the day. So I have to cook two because your boy's trying to put on some muscle gains, not some like flibby flabby man booby gains. <laughs> <laughs> but uh anyways i forget where i was going because i i literally do i always burn them and i always forget they're in the oven because i get like i get distracted dude if it's not obvious i genuinely enjoy doing what i do like i don't i can't have this consistent energy every single video with hundreds of videos if if i wasn't just being myself goofing around dude there's so many negative comments about me and my personality and me being too adhd and me constantly getting off topic and me not being able to keep my train of thought more than five seconds which is true but quite frankly, dude, I don't care because that's who I am. If you had high functioning autism and you were even like able to do what I'm doing, brother, like you'd be proud of yourself as well. So I generally don't care because the unfortunate truth, dude, is that you're right. I just don't care because there's a lot of people that are clearly relating to me and clearly enjoying what I do. Um, 
but I do forget where I was headed. Oh, we were talking about the instability with Intel. So the reason I'm saying that, man, is because, boy, it's getting warm. Um, <laughs> but the reason I'm saying that is because um, I haven't had any problems with any of the computers that I have built. And that's why I'm saying it feels like the internet is just poof, blowing this out of proportion. And this isn't like actually what is going on. This is something that people are whatever. One person had an issue and then now, or that that's a false statement because clearly there's more than one person having an issue. Like this is definitely a, a much bigger problem than the Nvidia. I'm just using that as a reference because it's the only thing that I can think to compare it to. So I'm not saying that there's not an issue with Intel because there clearly is. What I'm saying is that it feels like this is something that is being blown out of proportion because of the internet. It's like, look at the Dr. Disrespect situation. That's like what I like. There's another example. Look. I haven't looked into this, so I, I don't know if this is like, whatever, if this has been figured out at this point. But like when this first started coming out, dude, it was like two weeks of people just leaving an opinion about it where like nobody knew anything. Like it was just poof on the internet. Boom. There it is. Oh, we can't disclose any information. So it's like, it's just a bunch of people like running their mouth. Oh, this happened. Oh, he did this. Oh, he's a pedo. Like, dude what he did is wrong he has a wife and kids i absolutely agree with that but stamping the pdf file on somebody that is that is the worst thing that you can possibly do period worst so like as soon as a as somebody like penguinzo or charlie or moist credit whatever you want to call him i watch his videos so i'm not like being negative but as soon as somebody like that makes a video on it it's like his life is over at that point one person just one single person makes a video about it so the same thing can happen with like gamers nexus a very reputable person that people like watching and like he makes a video on that hundreds of thousands of people see it and now hundreds of thousands of people are going to go run their mouth to their friends and then in other youtubers comments like so that's where i'm getting at you know what i mean um, and it was like the other day too. I like, I remember I was, I said something about like line, like it was Linus's video, like talking about how AMD's like naming their, their CPUs, like they're constantly changing what the numbers and the letters in the actual CPU like mean. And dude, that was a fact. It was just a fact. And then it was, I said something about how I like Linus. I like Linus. I do. I like him. I like him and his team. I find them entertaining. I find them enjoyable. And they're, they're, they're entertaining enough for me to sit down and watch. Like I watch gamers Nexus. I watch hardware unbox. I watch Jay's two cents. I watch like all these like slower paced channels. I do. But the thing, the difference is that those people, I have to like, I have to sit here and skip through the video. Like I have to skip through the video. You know what I mean? So like it's it doesn't have that same like, oh, I can sit here and just enjoy the video and just watch it all. Like I can't do that with them. And look, I know it's me. I understand that. But dude, I am me. Why would I lie and say, oh, this guy is so much better because everybody else likes him? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I guess I'm just too honest. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video, man. That's all I wanted to talk about. I know that this was really long to just go over the prices of AMD's uh, new CPUs. But again, like I said, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just like one out of a million people that actually enjoy what they do and want to hang out with the community that they are apparently not trying to grow. <laughs> but I'm going to end the video. Peace.